they say if they say if we'll only avoid avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to love. Him. What's going on, guys? It's Psych, and we're back with some Fortnite. And instead of a challenge, we will be going over some aiming tips and how to better your overall accuracy on Fortnite. Also, make sure to hit that sub button and click that little bell so you don't miss any of these amazing videos. Also, comment what your sensitivity is, and let's see how crazy you guys actually play. Now, without further ado, let's get better at Fortnite. Now when talking about bettering your aim for those gunfights, sensitivity is a key aspect of those. A couple things to note, first is your X and Y sensitivity in the settings tab. Those only apply when you're hip firing guns, building and looking around, anything well not aimed in. Make sure to have them high enough so you can build and look around in a quick time frame, but not too high to where you're losing gunfights, specifically shotgun fights, that are mainly fought from the hip. A good way to find a sensitivity that works for you is start super low, even as low as 1, and just keep moving up or down from there. Once you die and it's related to your sensitivity speed, raise it up or down again to get that perfect feel and perfect shot for you so you're not missing gunshots and not missing, you know, dumb battles that you know you should have won because your sensitivity was either too high or too low because I do know people that play way too high and they just do not win those gunfights because they're way too high of sensitivity. They're all over the place, they're missing shots, they look like fools, and I also on the other hand know people that their sensitivity is so low that they just can't do anything. They can't build in a fast time frame nothing like that so make sure you find a sensitivity that really works for you second thing to talk about is the scope sensitivity and the ADS sensitivity these both will have to do with your aiming while zoomed in scope sensitivity will have to do with sniper scope speed when looking down the sight and the ADS speed will have to do with all guns without a scope keep both of these sensitivities rather low so you aren't aiming all over the place and again missing shots Make sure you have aim assist on at all times. It will make your life 10 times easier as well. So, you know, just recap real quick. Keep it low. Don't keep those zoomed in sensitivities too high. You need those super low so you can get, you know, the precise shots. You want to be able to turn on somebody and have that X and Y super fast so you can get to them quick enough. But when you're actually in the gunfight, you need them pretty low. Not, not super low, but rather low, more so than your X and Y, so that when you're inside, you can get that precise headshot. Make sure you really get those numbers. Numbers. And again, the aim assist will make it so when you're aimed in and when you're caught on to somebody, when you're locked on, your shots will be more accurate and your gun will kind of move with your thumbstick and you'll be able to hit those shots just a whole lot easier. Another thing to note is there was a feature added to the game where your first shot will be perfect. I'm talking 100% accurate. This is initial shot. Make sure you slow down, stop moving, or crouch, and you will get that extremely tight crosshair and make it the best shot you fire. It, it is the best way to get those really perfect, just those perfect shots, those really perfect shots. A good way to use this would be, you know, crouch and then shoot one, let it tighten up, shoot again, and go back and forth while being crouched, being that extra accuracy and getting that better overall feel and better shot for, you know, just all, 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 all gunfights, to be honest. This feature works with assault rifles and submachine guns along with pistols and everything related to that. But with burst assault rifles, it will only be applied to the first shot in the burst. So the first out of those three shots will get that precise shot and the others can go honestly anywhere that the crosshair shows you. Also, it does not work or become apparent in sniper rifles and shotguns. So just aim for the head and you'll be good. But, you know, it, it does not work with snipers or shotguns. You won't get it very often or you won't get it at all. Obvious tip alert, accuracy will be better or worse depending on variants of the gun, be that white, blue, gold, whatever. So if you have a white assault rifle, you're probably going to lose to a gold scar unless you're really, really good and you know, you've already got all this stuff down and I don't know why you're watching the video at that point, but not the point. A white assault rifle or white something, green, will lose to a higher variant most times because they become less accurate quicker or they're not more accurate with their overall spread after that first initial shot. So a bunch of things can go into play, but if it is a lower variant weapon, be ready to have a more challenging fight than someone with a gold scar. Another thing to be sure keep in mind, make sure you aim for the head at all times. I know this is, uh, this is obvious, but I hear all the time where people are just like, well, you know, do, do I need to aim for the head? Some games, you know, I don't really got to aim for the head. Fortnite is a game where you really need to aim for the head. There are headshot multipliers in any headshot you hit compared to something, uh, you know, a body shot. Make sure you hit those headshots at all times 
because for one, shotguns and snipers have a huge headshot multiplier, shotguns being 250%. That's wild. That also means all bits of the shots hit the head. I mean, we all have those nine point pump shots that just, they just suck. Aim for the head, try and get as accurate as you can. Snipers as well have a multiplier, but it's only about 200%. Still a lot, still double what any normal body shot will get. So a great rule of thumb for Fortnite is always if you have the shot, aim for the head. You will always do more damage than if you were to hit them in the body. Any any battle over any time, no matter what, you will always do more to the head than the body. A small bit of info also for you guys, a golden scar if hit in the head on every shot can kill a player in three shots. It's pretty crazy. Another thing to for sure keep in mind is make sure you aim for the head at all times, especially if you have a shotgun or a sniper. Shotguns have a huge headshot multiplier of 250%. That's huge. That's bonkers. That's wild. 250. That is over double the amount any body shot from a shotgun will be. That being, you know, all pellets hit the head and everything, you know, it's the most precise shot and hits the head fully because we all have those nine point pumps, pump shots to the head that just, they, they suck. They just, they, there's nothing you can do about them. But if you can get, you know, if you can just really get all those, it can do 250%. That's crazy. Snipers as well have a multiplier of 200%. So a great rule of thumb for Fortnite is always, if you have the shot, aim for the head. You will always do more damage than if you were to hit them in the body. This game is really based on headshots. And if, if you can hit your headshots, I promise you will do way better than anybody just shooting at the body. Headshots mean a lot. Some shooters don't. Some shooters' headshots don't really matter at all and you don't really do anything. But in Fortnite, you can see the numbers, you know, you can see how quick they drop. Aim for the head, I promise you'll do more than if you were to shoot them in the body. Aim, aim, aim for that head. Always, always. A small bit of info to use for you guys. A golden scar, if hit in the head on every shot, can kill a player in three shots. Remember that next time you have a golden scar, if you're aiming for that head, three can kill somebody. Three. On longer range weapons like a sniper, hunting rifle, and what used to be in the game crossbow, there is something called bullet drop, and I hear this a lot. Well, I'm not that accurate with snipers. Well, you need to really account for bullet drop in those type of weapons, snipers, hunting rifle. No longer in here, but crossbow used to have to do the same thing. Things like assault rifles, pistols, you know, all that do not have any bullet drop, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, it's, it's just really, you can just get your shot accurate, aim, and let, let the weapon do the rest, but snipers, hunting rifles, really, you, there's bullet drop, and you just got to play the game at that point. You got to figure out what, what the bullet drop is. You just got to gotta play. There's nothing I can really tell you on that because it's really hard, you know, for the stats on that. So, I mean, just play with the snipers, play with the hunting rifles, and you can figure it out pretty well and pretty easy. Now, for those long-range shots with assault rifles and other guns, remember to use that initial shot accuracy I told you guys about earlier. Make sure, you know, you hit that crouch button, stop moving for a sec, get that good shot, and then fire, and then fire again and again and again, tap fire, or, you know, just unload, holding the trigger down, or holding, the, you know, the mouse button down. Whatever your, your fire button is, make sure you just play play to your situation. If they're close up, you know, unload on them. That'd, that'd be fine. If they're far away, don't don't spam and spray. Make sure you hit that close, precise, initial shot shots those are just the best ones those are the best ones i'll do the most damage to the player aim for the head all the stuff that i just went over also when you're warming up do not change your sensitivity when you're playing those first couple of games or say you're having a bad day do not change your sensitivity it'll make it way harder for you in the long run if you change your sensitive and sen your sensitivity then when you're having a bad day or a bad game you change that sensitivity it's gonna hurt you way more because then you're gonna try and get used to that sensitivity or say you forget you changed it because you were in the heat of the moment then it's gonna be way harder for you to just to get any wins to get any kills because you're not used to that 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 sensitivity it's just way faster now it's way harder or way slower whatever you did don't do that whenever you're having a bad game or a bad day wait come back another time try again in a little bit because i promise using that one that your your core is with you know that sensitivity say you're having a bad game that won't matter if you have that really good accuracy that you've been using you've been playing with you'll do way better i promise and be aggressive. Do not play slow. The more slow and, you know, hidey you play, you will not win gunfights. You will not win. You don't have enough, you know, gunplay when you're hiding to actually win those gunfights and know what to do if you're hiding in a bush or hiding in a building waiting for the circle to get super small. Now there's two people left, but that dude, you know, the dude you're fighting has a scar and knows all this stuff that I just went over. And now you're probably going to lose the gunfight because you're hiding and you haven't, you know, been exposed to those guns enough because once you die in Fortnite, you got to restart and that process is real long. 
along. I, I'm pretty sure there's a mode or something that's coming soon that I heard at least to the PC because uh, you know they get a lot of they get a lot of cool stuff pretty early. Um, you know, the, there's this thing where you'll be able to respawn in certain game mode, but um, just really, guys, really do what I just said. Play aggressive, don't play slow, and I promise you'll do way better. You'll do way better in the long run than if you were to just stay hiding and playing slow. Now, those were my tips on how to better your accuracy overall, your aiming, tracking while in those gunfights, and your Fortnite overall skills. I hope you all did enjoy the video or found this helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and show some love in the comments. This is Psych, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.